Measuring metric length. Rulers can look different simply because they are made in different factories, but they are all used to measure length. Usually one side of the ruler is in inches, but if you'll flip it around, you'll see that the other side is in centimeters and millimeters. When measuring length, be careful to place the zero at the front side of the line. Sometimes the zero is the edge of the ruler, like on this white one, but sometimes it isn't. Do you see this one begins right here? So in measuring this line, we would want to start right here, and we have 10 centimeters. With the white one, we'll start at the very edge of the ruler, and again, we should get 10 centimeters. Each centimeter is made up of 10 millimeters, so each millimeter is one-tenth of a centimeter. Let's try these lines. So this is 6.5, 6 centimeters, 5 millimeters, so 6.5 centimeters. Our second line is 11, and it looks like 4 extra small millimeters, so we would say 11.4 centimeters. Be sure and label. There are 10 millimeters in each centimeter. You can measure in both millimeters and centimeters. This line would be 7, now you'll have to watch, remember you line right up on the edge of your ruler, so 7 and it looks like 7 millimeters, so we would say 7.7 .7 centimeters. Now because each centimeter has 10 millimeters, we could also say that this line is 77 millimeters long. Likewise, this line down here, we would go to the 11, that's 11 full centimeters plus one, two more millimeters, we would say 11 point, point two centimeters, but we could also say that this line is 112 oops, excuse me, millimeters, millimeters.